tell us, tell everyone where we are. We are actually going to a hidden uh, bookstore. Do you guys always want to know where are some places that gay people can hang out? That is not a bar, not doesn't involve alcohol. It's not sexual. Here we go today. A prox. <laughs> <laughs> We should speak Korean today because this is Korean town, okay? Guys, don't, you don't know. Okubo is a very... It's like the, the Korean town. The K-town in Tokyo. There are lots of like restaurants. And lots of like, if you love BTS, they have like shop for BTS as well. And also like Korean cosmetic. And then when you're here, you can stop by a gay bookstore. Okay, stop showing me. This building, it doesn't have nothing gay. There's no rainbow flag. It is far away from the gay district Nichome. Like there are so many just like household right here. Loneliness book. Do you know why it's called loneliness? Because gay people are lonely? Yeah. Are you lonely? I am lonely. Don't have a boyfriend. The other day, a person asking me, Oh, do you just pretend that you don't have a boyfriend so people watching you don't think, think you're single, think you're available, you can get more views? I said, no, I am just simply don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we're gonna explore. Come to my world. The loneliness. Well, maybe you should ring the bell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just barge it. <laughs> えっと、ロンリネスブックスという Hi, uh, my name is Sengu Kim and um, I'm a South Korean expert living in Japan and I spent about 8 years living here. I'm a, I work for a media company and uh, recently I published a zine and I came here every like about 5 days per week recently during the pandemic to write and do the research. このプロジェクト自体は2019年の5月から2019年じゃあ2年前結構最近ということですね。なぜ始めよう始めようと。その時はえっとちょうどレインボー東京レインボープライドっていうのが5月に毎年やっていて、それでいっぱいブースがこう
、まああのー、ここは週1回土曜日だけオープンしてるんですけど一応ここに来る人はもちろん買わなくてもいいんですけれど買って帰る何かを買って帰る人は多いです<笑>やっぱりわざわざここまで予約制なので予約してきてあの2時間の予約制なんですけどその時間じっくり読んで,で何かを買っていく人は多いですけどもちろん買わずにいろいろ読んで帰る人もいます。日本はあの芸座誌は割と歴史が50年ぐらいあって、まあ、でもここ最近その紙,で紙の媒体でそういう作るっていうのがあのなくなってきていて、まあ、今完全に紙で芸座誌はもうないんですけどあの昔はそうやって盛んに作られていたんですけれどちょっとこの最近のアジアでこう作られているものとかあと欧米のものと少し違うのはやっぱりその。ファ,ッファッション的なというんですかねなんかこうアートとかファッションとかそういう文脈であのクイアカルチャーを見せるっていうものがあんまりもちろん小さいレベルではいろいろあったとは思うんですけどあんまりこう僕はそ,そんなに知らなくて日本の中であるっていう逆にあの韓国とか台湾とかに行ってそういうものを見て刺激を受けていたのでもちろん欧米に行けばもっとたくさんあるんですけどあのだけど最近そういうのから刺激を受けて東京の若い人たちもそういうちょっとアートとかファッションから見せるクイアみたいなものをあの意識して作るものが最近ここ12年すごい増えてきたなって一,一気に感じはしますね。So this is an old magazine from 1978 from Japan, gay magazine. 結構自分本名じゃなくてペンネームで。書いてあの小説芸の小説を書いたりイラストレーションを書いて送ってくるっていうのは当時よくあったそうですね。なんか友達募集の掲示板あ,、ね、ありますか？この雑誌にはあったかな。Yeah, here in 1978, 1978, a man in Sapporo is looking for the, his partner. あじゃあどういう感じの人が人気だったかな。21歳学生、今、なんか弟くんを募集しています。<笑>小柄でおとなしい弟くん、手紙ください。<笑>なんか、今の時代はさ、やっぱりアプリケーションで顔を見れるんですけど、うん、ね、その時は多分もう全部想像に任せるという感じですよね。そうですね。当時はこれを読んで、その編集部にこの人気になりますっていうのを送ると、編集部から写真,写真付きでお手紙が。その方に編集部がつないでその方から写真入りでお手紙が来たりとかっていうのがわおえー、あこんな人なのかっていうそうなんですねじゃあ逆にその時代はもうこれはもうアプリのもうですかね,ですね、うん、周りはた例えば出会いの場がなければこういう感じ、まあ、ゲーバーに行くかでも地方の方だったら地方の方だとこういうのでしかないんですね、うんそれは面白い。今の時代に感謝してます。There is an English one. Can I read this? There is an English one. Okay. I want to meet at a fat. What? I what? I can't read this. Look, can you read this? Here we go. Where is it? Okay. Oh. I want to meet a fat or plump foreign who is a man. Past middle age and some friends under 25 years old. I am a junior year in college. He gives his measurements too. He's 166 centimeters high, so just a bit shorter than me.、Um, 57, so he's 57 kilos, and、um, he's 21 years old. So hold on, so how old is he now? <laughs> he is. <laughs> 50, 50 so this is 1978. So, so, hold on, hold on, I can't even do the math. Look at you. 43 years, so he's 63. Oh my god, so slow, your white hair. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I wonder if he's still looking for that guy. Katami san designed it, and I、um, launched the project, and the photography was also taken by the other Korean. Friend of mine, I started to take the photos of my friends, more like DJs,、um, drag queens, go go. And I thought、um, they were also losing their places, so I thought、uh, somebody has to 
uh, record their voices and their photos. As we just have discussed, there's no printed media in queer community in Japan that actually focus on the current queer issues in Japan. It actually ended up with an interview of about 23 people. Nice. Mm. Yeah. How long did it take you? It was like a few months after uh, Japan realized that they have the coronavirus after that. And um, that time I was stuck in my room and half of my work were gone. Uh, as a foreigner living in Japan myself, um, I was not sure I would be able to come, come back to Japan. So I thought I have to interview one of my DJ, a female DJ from Korea. And she is one of the few female DJ who actually play in Nichome. And I interviewed about four, four or five people per month. It took about seven or eight months to finish this project. Zine is called Trailer Zine. And um, when you open it, you see the photos. And uh, behind the photos are the bilingual text in English and English. If you go to Nichome, there are little cute, uh, tiny um, um, booklets or the cards like this. And I thought some, um, if you have a friend in Nichome um, who is um, interviewed by the zine, then I thought you can cut the zine into pieces and put these cards on the wall. So oh, behind cute. the photo is the text and interview. So um, I just want uh, this cards to be a souvenir of the mm -hmm. Nichome culture. I see. I, I have a question because you mentioned earlier that, you know, people are working, you know, as a drag queen or doing go-go dance or uh, doing DJ are uh, losing their voice. Because they were locked, um, there was no serious lockdowns as compared to what happened in uh, Europe or in US. But uh, people, I mean, DJs and uh, drag queens, um, if they don't have a party, they don't have a place to go. And for them, it's like the, their um, alter ego. Because um, if you don't perform, then you lose yourself. It's like same as uh, the other, other um, performance artists, like such as the um, choreographer, for example. Because of the coronavirus, the pandemic, um, we were losing the venues. I thought somebody has to record the momentum of the pure culture in Japan. So I used to take documentary films, but I thought it would be much better for me to publish and finish the project by. Uh, writing, uh, publishing the zines, which is the short form of the magazines. I asked uh, Katami-san, what kind of magazine should I produce? And um, he showed me different formats. Uh, he's a designer, uh, and um, uh, we worked together. I mean, he brought me to the printing uh, the press, and um, he gave me such um, opportunities and um, ideas to publish the magazine. So you worked together on yes. this project, and it was sort of born out of this place? Yes and born out of the pandemic as well. Right. It's kind of, it's quite interesting to me to see how such a terrible thing can result in some beauty and some, um, some creativity, things that, yeah. exact creativity and things that are important for the community. It's really, it's really nice. The main goal is to go to the East Asia, particularly the close country of クイアだったりジェンダーだったりっていういろんな似たような課題が抱えてる思うので文化的にも似ているしそういう似たような課題を抱えてる人たちがあのその海越え海を越えてこうつながり合って刺激を受け合ってま最近さっきも言ったように日
読みに来る買いに来る人だけじゃなくて話に来る人いるんですか、うん、なんか相談とかがある人とかあ、まあ、そこまでの相談はなくてもあの悩みの僕あの水曜日にタックスノットっていうバーにも入ってるんですけれどもあなるほどですねあのここで知ってそのバーに来ていろいろ喋ったりっていうのはありますねそういうコミュニティセンターの資材だったりとか、はい、そうあの HIVAIDS の啓発の資材とかを作ったりもあアクタアクタのもしてます、うん、あそうなんですね、はい、じゃあすごくもうコミュニティの中で活動されてるんですねそうです,うですアクタのそのマンスリーペーパーを作ったこれでも前昔のものですけどね最近のではないだいぶ前です2014年そういう、one of them here from 2014. So we have an interview, and then here they have information on safer sex. We have World AIDS Day information. It's a lot of like, important information for the community, and it is made by Katami san. <laughs> He's my friend. <laughs> He looks familiar, yes. actually. He looks very familiar. Like, I feel like I've seen him yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Everybody's friendly. Yeah, everyone's, <laughs> everyone, it's all, it's a very small world. Kimi no Senaka to you, Nohara Kuro san, to you, Nihon no gay comic sacca no comic no deskedo, Korewa no dekir kei ga o m o s h i r o k t e e t o n o h a r san, to you, no mo. 20年ぐらい20、もうちょっと20年近くはあのゲイコミックをずっと書いている方なんですけど、その人をあの韓国の、えっと、インディペンデントの出版社の人が向こうでカミングアウトをテーマにしたあの本を作るときに、その中に漫画、コミックを入れたい、一つの,あのコーナーとして。っていうときに、韓国で作家を探したんですけど、いい作家が見つからなくて、で日本でリサーチして、この野原さんという人を。韓国の出版社が見つけてでカミングアウトをテーマにした漫画を描いてくださいっていうことで最初韓国で出版されたんですでクラウドファンディングで去年お金が集まって今年の2月に出版されました北海道の小樽という地方都市を舞台にしてあのこの2人の高校生がカミングアウトをテーマにしたんですと,とてもピュアなコミックです,いいです、ね Bears. Like, so, mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like、mm-hmm. yeah. young、Nanka. cubs. Young cubs just coming out of hibernation in Hokkaido. It's so cold. 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 ああじゃあどうやって連絡取れますかツイッターツイッターとかインスタグラムでロンリネスブックスで検索すると、はい、はい、ありがとうございました。